Hi, Tracy Noppy here with Genesis Blogging, and today I wanted to talk to you about something interesting, something you may have heard of, maybe you didn't, um, latent semantic indexing. Um, basically, that's a really long phrase, and I actually wrote a blog post on it um, here yesterday, I guess it was, um, as of this recording. And basically, it is how Google can read your content and pull out and find websites based on whatever search phrase you enter in their search. So if you're searching for something specific, it will pull out websites that match as closely to or have your words that you entered in your phrase into the search parameter. Um, let me give you one example of that. For example, usually I go and whenever I write a blog post or set up a website or whatever, obviously I do keyword research. One of the ways that I do that is I go to Google AdWords. They have a free keyword tool. It's not exact. It's not an exact science, but it gives me an idea if anybody's searching for that phrase. When I want to get into a little more detail or drill down a little bit more, I open up my Market Samurai, of course, and dig in and, and check it out a little bit more thoroughly. But one of the phrases that I wanted to talk about today is learn how to create a blog. Okay, that actually gets some searches. It's not a ton of searches, but it's one of, the, one of those phrases you might call low-hanging fruit. Gets enough to optimize something for it, you know, but it's, it's not a highly competitive phrase. And so I actually have a site where I have used that phrase in the site, and I rank uh, one, two, three, four. These are paid results up here. So see, these are ads. These are ads related to this. And this is the organic search results down here below these ads. And this is my site right here. And so you'll see all of those words are bolded because that's the phrase that I entered in. But you'll notice that on these, um, only some of the words are, are um, bolded and highlighted. And what this is, is these sites are ranking because within the text here on the page, whether it's their excerpt, their description, or the first so many characters on their page, they're using some or all of the words that I entered into the search. So sometimes it's in the title, sometimes it's actually found within the content on the page. Okay, and mine has all of these. So that's what latent semantic indexing is, is it's pulling out and bolding parts of the words going, hey, does this match? Look, it's found here, 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 and here, you know, and, and you have to determine if that's exactly what you were looking for or if that website meets exactly what it was that you were trying to find. That's latent semantic indexing, okay? Now, you don't normally, if you go for really long tail keyword phrases, like this is actually a pretty long phrase, so you can, you know, pull out, create a blog or, you know, whatever, the longer your phrase, the more likely you are to get picked up into rank for phrases that might be found within your longer phrase. Another example of this is on, an, I had a potential client contact me and, um, and I talk about this actually in my blog post where I, you know, oh, okay, how'd you find me? You know, they were needed some help with their shopping cart system and, and their website. And they said, well, I entered premium web cart outsourcing into the Google and you were number one. Well, sure enough, premium web cart outsourcing. Actually, I'm now one, two, and three. The blog post I just wrote yesterday titled latent semantic indexing example but because I mentioned within the content on the page premium web cart and outsourcing it also pulls up that blog post that I just published yesterday I'm now on page one of Google for this phrase that's not even in the title it's just part of what the content on the page again perfect example of latent semantic indexing you know this was the site that they found this is how they contact me that this is my website and I actually have the first two spots for that website and now for my new blog post it was just really um, interesting because I didn't set out to optimize my site for that I really didn't do anything for that I just listed out the services premium web cart happens to be a shopping cart that I personally use and that I do work with for clients and I mentioned it by name so some people naturally are going to enter premium web cart into a search parameter because it's a, a pretty popular system and of course they they're going to enter in outsourcing so in this case I, I ranked for premium web cart outsourcing 
completely um, by latent semantic indexing alone, not anything that I set out to do. Thought that was very, very interesting. So anyway, um, just wanted to share that with you and for you to not be afraid, to encourage you not to be afraid, to go for those really long keyword phrases um, for titles um, or, you know, even if it's just something related to what you do. If you use um, or you work with or use or are recommending a particular product or brand, mention it in your content. It, it can possibly get pulled up, even if that's not necessarily the main focus of, you know, the, the, the blog post or the content. You just happen to mention it, you know, if, as it's somehow related. You could also end up with latent semantic indexing um, rankings in Google, and I, I actually got a client out of it, so um, that's not a bad thing. So anyway, that's an example of the latent semantic indexing. Hopefully that helped you. Um, go over and read my blog post. I'll put a link to it below so you can learn just a little bit more about it or enter it in Google and you can find out a little bit more about latent semantic indexing and what all that means. Anyway, hope that helped you and I will talk to you soon.